What's up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue, and I, I did it. I bought another booster box of Modern Masters 2017 Edition. I got some uh, perfect fits right here, just in case. Hopefully Olivia will bring us some luck, and I got my uh, got my good old letter opener right here. So, without further ado, let's crack into this thing. It can't be worse than the first one, right? Right? Let's do it. I assume you all heard that voice crack. That was the voice crack of confidence. We are totally not going to get pounded here. Hey, look! They're not all, like, jumbled around. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we're gonna not gonna see you. No more Domri Raid. Alright, let's, uh, let's do it. Alright, so I am gonna flip through the commons. We're gonna go straight to the uncommons. Um, I saw a foil back there. Probably gonna be not so great. So we have a Seaside Citadel. A Compulsive Research, which is a pretty good card. Willy Soctar, also pretty good. Turns out, five fours for three. Pretty good. We have a Cyclonic Rift. An amazing card for EDH. Possibly bannable, but uh, we'll see. And then we have a foil Savage Lands. Um, I, I like the Tri Lands, but uh, it's no fetch land. And we have a Gauntlet token. All right, go through the commons once again. Start off strong with the Azorius Signet. Well, not super strong, but Signets are great. We have a Skurzdag Cultist, a Harmonize, and then our rare is <laughs> Seance. Uh, it's not the best. And we have a foil Seagate Oracle, which is worth like a dollar or two bucks. With a spirit token. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, there we go. Urban, Urban Evolution. Uh, once again, pretty good EDH card, if you're into that sort of thing. A Vampire Nighthawk, another Savage Lands, and then a rare is an Erin Mesa. This is the only fetch land we got from the other box. I hope it's not the only one we get from this one. And then we have a foil slime molding and a zombie. All right, get through the commons. Some of these commons are actually pretty good. I mean, I don't have to tell you. You probably already know that. We have Jungle Shrine, Cattleman's Witch, Unflinching Courage, and then... Oh, Cavern of Souls. Okay. I got one in the last box. Cavern of Souls is a pretty good mythic to get. And we have a Foil Soul Warden. This is a good pack. I love Soul Warden, and I love Cavern of Souls, so... Yeah, good stuff. I also got a, got, got a Goblin. All right, this box is starting to look oddly familiar, if you know what I mean. Um, but we did not get a single Cyclonic Rift, which is which is interesting. In the, in the other box, this Metal Witch, Thornscape, Battle Mage, Moroi, and then we have a Phantasmal Image, pretty good card. We have a Foil, Rakdos, Guild, and then a Golem. If you hadn't noticed already, I'm putting cards that I like or think are pretty good or playable down here, and then all the foils just one up top, just to you know separate it a little bit. Seer Visions, pretty good card. It deserves to go in the pile. Flick of Wisp, another. Decent card, rare shifted down, soul ransom, and then uh, we have, uh, what is this? Zealous conscripts, which is a, it's not bad. Um, it's pretty good in cube. It's okay in EDH, not really. Maybe if you're doing like some kiki jiki combo stuff. And we have a foil Orzov guild gate. Got me with the foil or er, with the foil uh, land. I got spider. All right, flip to the back. I mean, you know, I I'm really hoping this box <laughs> is a lot better than my last one. I don't have the best luck. I guess you could. Consider that uh, foil deck fading pretty good luck, but other than that, all right, let's see what our rare is. Uh, damn it, god damn it. I was just saying this, man. And we have a foil Dyna Charge. And you know, I bought these boxes from two completely separate vendors, so the odds of them being like the same shit is super low, so maybe this is just, you know, you know, early sign and not message. Ah, fuck. Drag Tusk. Uh, foil wall of, wall of frost, elemental token. I think a token's worth more than Tommy raid. Uh, eh, drag tusk. Yeah, it's playable, but I don't want to clutter this up. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Magma jet, which means we're gonna have a Liliana. Calling it right now. Liliana the veil, Boros signet, Tower gargoyle, opportunity, and Liliana the veil. Ah, it's black desecration demon, and a foil dragon fodder, and a golem. Alright, let's get through the commons again. I, I've got this really weird feeling that I'm getting like the same exact box. Sin Collector, Signet, Seal of Doom, and we have a Scalding Tyrant, ah, Stony Silence. That's an alright card. Pretty good sideboard. Foil Giant Baiting and a Goblin Warrior. But I'm gonna try to stay positive. We're gonna get some good stuff. We have, hey, Agent of Masks. I didn't get one of these in the last box. Maybe that's a good sign. Oh, Path to Exile. There we go. Some money on common. Wall of Frost, uh, an Evil Twin, and Eyes in the Skies, Foil, and a Centaur Token. Alright, 
flip through this stuff. We have a Mystic Genesis, which is this a rare? I feel that it was a rare. Racto Signet, Gay's Anthem, and we have a Mind Shatter, which is it's all that's alright, but you know, <laughs> this is kinda how I'm feeling right now. Uh, we have a foil soul manipulation, which is pretty cool, and an angel token, which is, you know, pretty cool too. It'll prob angel token probably see more play than anything else in this pack. Alrighty, let's flip to the back. I saw a green card back there. What are the chances that it's a Tarmogoy? Probably pretty low. Familiar's Ruse, Putrefy. It's a solid card. Bailiff Cage Trap is probably what we saw. And we have a Blood Moon. Alright, another Blood Moon and a foil Balos Cage Trap. It's my second Blood Moon. It's alright. Those are good sell cards, which I would definitely be selling both of them. Also got this giant warrior. Alright, come on, Olivia. Bring me luck. We need more fetch lands. Especially like a Scalding Tarn. Please, just one Scalding Tarn. Arcane Sanctum, Sprouting Thrynax, Bithian Stinger, and we have a green. Mm, Primal Command. Ah, uh, bummer. It's a pretty good card, though. We have a Foil spy Spire Monitor and a really sweet ass Soldier Token. I love the art on this token. Yeah. We are about halfway through the box. It's not looking so great so far. <laughs> we'll see. Seen a lot of repeats from the last one. Intangible Virtue, or Clan Rampager. Uh, what is this? Arachnus Spinner? And then we. Ah! Oh, there we go, boys! Tarmogoy. Nice. Best pull in the set. Can't ask for more. And we have a Foil Liliana. Ah, oh, no. Bring your Emissary. Foil. Pretty good. Nice to see this. I will probably... Uh, is this going in the cube or am I selling this? I don't know yet, but very, very cool to see good old Goyfy. And then we have a gorgeous Braintree Emissary and a Dragon. Alright, so since uh, good old Olivia here is deciding to bring me some luck, what else can I wish for? Um, fetch lands, man. Give me, give me some fetches. Fetch lands and Goblin Guide. That would be amazing. So we have a Jungle Shrine, a Terminate, which is a pretty good card. I'll put it down here with my good stuff. Powerwolf Shaman, and a Damnation! Nice! Pretty good, and a Gnawing Zombie. Second Damnation, excellent! I got one in the first box, this one's going straight in the cube. So, very cool. Also, we got a bird. You know, I should make this line just money cards, but I have so little faith in my ability to open money cards, that I'm just like, I'll put anything that I think is remotely playable or cool. So, <laughs> so that's what that situation is. We have Abyssal Spectre, and then we have a, not yes! Fuck yes. Scalding Tarn. Money in the bag. There we go. And we have a foil Simic Signet, which is also pretty good. Okay. This box is officially, I don't know, 200% better than the other box. I'm super happy. Kit could not be happier. I mean, unless this was foil, but who knows? Let's see what else we can get. Alright, I cleaned this up a little bit better, showing all the, the good pulls. I left Cyclonic Rift in there because it's probably still not worth like five bucks, but it's a really sweet card. Um, I actually probably own like four or five of them right now. Then no, I own more than that because I have a foil one in uh, one of my decks. We have uh, Inquisition of Kozilek, which is a fantastic uncommon. I guess we'll put it here. We have Sidrax's Spectre, Rare Ship It Down, Master Splicer, and then we have a Div Mizzet, Draco Genius as a rare, and with a foil Thunderous Wrath for you uh, popper players. And a Sapperling. You know, I think this box is starting to turn my day around. I was having a pretty, uh, pretty poopy day. My, uh, throat's not feeling great. Um, Inquisition of Kozlik, by the way, pretty good. Lingering Souls, also good. Torment of Souls. But, yeah, this, this box has cheered me up a bit. Since we got a Scalding Tart and a Tarmogoyf, I'm very happy. Anything else is just icing. What do we got here? Keckling Crown Counterpart? Uh, I mean, once again, so it's okay for, uh, EDH. Oh my god. Holy shit, we got a Foil Damnation as our Foil Rare. Okay, I'm gonna get the sleeve. Hold on a sec. This is officially one of the best boxes of magic I have ever fucking opened. Um, I can't believe it. I don't even know how much this is worth, but fucking foil damnation is sick. We got two damnations in this box. Where's the other one? Yeah, right there. Wow. Um, I, I'm fucking speechless, guys. That is that is unbelievable. So <laughs> let's see if we can get more. Man, now I regret using Damnation as a thumbnail for the other video, because <laughs> it is very much deserving in this one. That is that is completely sick. Um, Orzov, Signet, Wooly Thoctar. I feel like this is like redemption. Fucking redemption. Ranger Vio! So there we go. That's another sweet rare. Didn't get one in the last one. Um, going straight in my cube. We have a Foil, Falconroth, Noble, and a Soldier Token. 
All right, so we are down to the last four packs. Um, I, I don't know, man. Goblin Guide would be fucking sweet. Um, and more fetch lands. Goblin Guide and the fetch. We have an intangible, well, intangible virtue, followed by Arcane Sanctum, uh, Unburial Rites, and then we have Advent of the Worm, which is it's an all right card. And we have a foil. What? Are you fucking kidding me? We have a foil mythic and a foil damnation? I mean, this is not the best mythic, but hold on. I'm gonna get sleep. There we go. That is disgusting. I mean, it's not the best mythic. I mean, it's not even that great of a mythic, but it's a foil mythic, and it is one that sees play, so I, I don't know how much this is worth. Probably far less than damnation, I, I assure you, but damn, dude. That, that is so sick. Three more packs. Let's see what else we can get. I feel Modern Masters 2017 has just been a, a, a goddamn roller coaster. Uh, we have Ancient Grudge. Is it Charm? Is a, is a pretty sweet one. What is this guy? Wing Splicer. And then we have Ready Catacombs. Ah, Gifts and Given. Pretty sweet. I don't have one of these. And we have a Foil Goblin Electromancer. I mean, this is pretty good. I wouldn't call it a Junk Rare in, in the least. In the least. And we have, uh, you know, this is pretty good. This is my second one. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll make a Modern Storm deck. I don't know. Also, we got nothing. Alrighty, second to last pack. Still hoping up for another fetch land. I mean, I feel like I'm being greedy at this point, but who knows, man? I'll, I'll take what I can get. Carnage Gladiator, Scares the Cultist, and we have a Ulvenwald Tracker. And a foil rewind. Oh, sweet. I love rewind. It's a fantastic card. Yeah, look at that foil. We have Ooze Token. Alright, this is the final pack. I'm gonna talk as I open this up. Um, it's gonna be a pain in the ass while I open it. So, wh what can we get here? I mean, obviously, just fetch land. I mean, I was calling it the whole time. Fetch land would be sweet. It probably won't get one, but who knows? Three fetches would be would be like the icing on this fucking dank ass cake. Crumbling Necropolis, Teleportal, Azure Mage, and Simic Sky Swaller. Eh, it's pretty good. If this was a draft, I'd be very happy opening this guy up. And we have a foil Dinrovahor and a Golem token. So let's go over this. Sweet haul. All right, guys. So here is the quick and dirty recap. These are the cards that I pulled out that I think are pretty good. They're worth about, you know, three to four bucks, two to three bucks, something like that. But they're all really playable. They're all fantastic cards that see play in a lot of different areas. Um, I'm not including Domri Raid because he can get suck a D. Um, and there's probably a couple other like foil commons and stuff that I got that are that are pretty good. Like the Seagate Oracle is worth like two bucks, and there's some other like two dollar ish cards, cards even. Uh, and then here we have the the best of the best in this box. Um, we have like these guys around like five bucks each. Cyclonic Rift's only like four. Passing Flames is about six to seven dollars right now, the foil one. And then these are about 20 a piece. And then up here we have our $30 range cards. Uh, foil Damnation is sitting at a pretty 40 bucks. We have this one, uh, Scotland Carn at like 45, something like that. And obviously the piece de resistance. Tarmogoyf saving my ass at a Cool, 85 bucks. He could be more, could be less at the time of this actual posting. Could be up to 90 now. Um, we'll see. We'll see how he retains his price. But Time to Go Up always seems to go back up, and it's pretty sweet that I got one. Um, I'm really happy about this Scalding Tarn. Kind of bummed that uh, the other one is the Arid Mesa, which is what I got already. I'll have to trade that for like a, I don't know, a Marsh Flats or, or something that I need. But anyway, very happy with this box overall. Um, I consider this a redemption after the, the terribleness that was the first one. I did get a lot of repeat stuff, you know, Blood Moon, um, Damnation, but I did get some sick-ass stuff like uh, Foil Damnation and Tarmogoyf. So anyway, if you guys like the video, then maybe leave a like, maybe even subscribe. I mostly do Force of Will content on here, but I will do some magic stuff occasionally. If you like the magic stuff, just let me know, and maybe I'll do more. But I digress. If you liked it, I already said all that shit, didn't I? Anyway, hope to see you guys later. Have a good one, all, and I'll see you around.